Here's a look at just how simple the process is. Position the ramp approximately a ramp's length out from the step, van, or platform. Stand the ramp on end with the open ends down. Loosen the Velcro locking straps located near the bottom end of the ramp. The handle should be at the center of the space where you want the ramp to be. Reach down and lift the first half of the ramp toward the step or landing area and set it down on top of the support. Make sure that the hook of the ramp is pressed firmly against the step. Open the top half of the ramp. Unfold the top half of the ramp towards you and make sure that the ramp's hooks are pressed firmly against the landing area. Failure to do so may cause the ramp to slip off the step when in use. Make certain the Velcro straps are below the walking surface of the ramp to avoid tripping. Whenever possible, use the steel pins provided to secure the ramp in place. If you purchased a multi-fold or utility ramp, your new ramp now has the added feature of being able to be separated into two separate pieces for ease in carrying. If you wish to carry your ramp in two pieces, simply rotate the cam as shown. As you rotate this cam, you will notice that the cam pin that contains the spring is being pulled away from the hinge. The cam pin either prevents or allows the ramp to be carried in two pieces. Persons without the strength to lift in this manner can simply lay the ramp on its side, rotate the cam, and slide one section ahead of the other separating the sections. There are several options for safely joining the ramp sections together. Option 1. Stand the ramp sections on end. Make sure that the carrying handles from both sections are resting on the ramp. Align the hinges, starting with the lower hinge. Once both hinges are fit together, rotate the cam, making certain that the cam pin is fully seated to prevent the two ramp sections from separating. Position the ramp following the same steps as shown before. Remember to make sure the hook of the ramp is pressed firmly against the step. Check to see that the Velcro straps are below the walking surface of the ramp to avoid tripping. And whenever possible, use the steel pins provided to secure the ramp in place. Option 2. Loosen the Velcro strap from the lower section of the ramp. Position the single section near the center where the ramp will be resting, allowing enough room for the remaining section of ramp. Next, hold the second section of the ramp to align the hinges, starting with the lower hinge, and slide the ramps together. Rotate the cam, preventing the two ramp sections from separating. Unleash the Velcro strap, lift from the lower section of the ramp to fully extend it, and unfold the second section. Check the support end of the ramp to make certain that it is fully resting against the step or ledge. To remove the ramp, simply reverse the process that you use to set it up. Option 3. Place the ramp on edge and slide the two sections together. Rotate the cam to lock the two sections. Here are some important safety tips for you to be aware of. PVI always recommends having a qualified assistant present when using any portable ramp. PVI portable access ramps should never exceed a 3 to 12 slope ratio. For example, for a 6 foot long ramp, the maximum height of the step or platform should be no more than 18 inches. For an occupied wheelchair or scooter, you should never exceed a 2 to 12 slope ratio. You can calculate the optimum rise for any length ramp with a PVI slope length rise chart. You'll find this chart attached to the underside of your ramp. Staying within this ratio ensures that you can use your ramp safely. For your safety, the PVI portable multifold and utility ramps have a visual aid located on the side of the ramp. Before using your ramp, 
check to ensure that the visual aid indicates the ramp is on a safe slope. This visual aid is set for a 2 to 12 slope ratio for occupied chairs only. If you are using it for loading unoccupied chairs or scooters, follow the calculation process mentioned earlier. If you intend to use your ramp to transport an individual in or out of a vehicle, always use a qualified assistant. Never exceed the 2 to 12 slope ratio and always check to make sure that there is adequate head clearance into a vehicle prior to attempting access. If you have additional questions about safety or use of our portable access products or any other questions about the setup or use of your ramp, contact the PVI dealer nearest you.